you so much for speaking with us today about Monday's supermoon. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful sight, um, mm -hmm. but can you start off by telling us what is so special about this particular supermoon? Yeah, so what makes this particular supermoon uh, special is that it will be the closest the, uh, the moon has been to the Earth since 1948. As we know, the, the orbit of the moon around the Earth is not a perfect circle, and the moon does get closer in its orbit. And so uh, Monday morning, uh, the moon will be uh, uh, at, at perigee. It'll be closest to the moon. It'll be 14% larger than the average full moon, and uh, it'll be the closest we've had in quite a long time. do supermoons happen and why is this one considered especially rare? Yeah, so, so you know, the word supermoon has been used a lot by definition, by the definition we, we like to, uh, to discuss, it's the one closest full moon of the year. And, and so this particular one on Monday will be the closest of, of this year. And, and uh, again, it will be historically close. It hasn't been this close since uh, uh, January of 1948 and it won't be this close again until uh, November of 2034. So uh, not only will it be larger in the sky, but brighter uh, and uh, closer than it has been in quite a long time. And so what causes the variations in the distance between the Earth and the Moon? Yeah, so there's a lot of factors that go into making the, the Moon's orbit not a perfect circle. Um, you know, and actually all objects that orbit other, other things in the, in the solar system follow similarly um, unperfect, imperfect circular orbits. Um, one of the, the, the main reasons why the orbit of the moon is, is not a perfect circle is that there are a lot of tidal or, or, or gravitational forces that are pulling on the moon, whether you have the, the gravity of the Earth pulling on the moon, you have the gravity of the, the sun, and actually all of the other planets, Jupiter slightly tugging the orbit of the moon. So the moon's orbit is, is not a perfect circle for many factors. And actually the fact that the Earth has this, this beautiful ocean uh, covering 70% of it uh, also affects some of the, the, uh, the, the orbit of the moon around it because the ocean's moving around. And so you have all of these different gravitational forces pulling and pushing on the moon, uh, which give us these opportunities to have these close passes. Will there be any noticeable differences in the tides or any other kind of effects on the Earth with this supermoon? Sure. So the, the moon does affect the Earth's surface and the, the, the Earth's oceans as well. Uh, you know, we, we will see uh, a slightly higher tide. We normally get a, a high tide at, 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 at close moons. Uh, but this one will be, again, not perceptively higher, but certainly a little bit higher. Actually, one of the interesting things about the, the moon is that it's not only pulling on the Earth's ocean, it's actually pulling on the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust, the land beneath our feet, uh, actually deforms in response to the moon as well. Uh, but again, these are very subtle effects that, uh, that we wouldn't necessarily notice unless you're actually looking uh, at them or, or measuring them. supermoon on record and can you kind of compare that to the average distance between the Earth and the Moon? Sure. So over the span of uh, at least recent history, the last several hundred years, this is going to be one of the closest, but there have been closer ones. Um, the closest uh, supermoon, the closest full moon that we actually we had was in January of 1912 um, and that was uh, several about 100 or, or just under 100 kilometers closer than the full moon that we'll have on Monday. So again, we're not talking thousands of kilometers difference between these, these very close, these, these, these super moons. But you know, we know the distance to the moon very well, and so we know that this is going to be one of the closest, but not the closest. Uh, the moon will be uh, closer than it is uh, on Monday in, uh, no in November of, of 2034. Um, but historically, you know, the moon's distance to the, 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 uh, the Earth hasn't changed dramatically over at least human existence, but we do get these, these close full moons periodically, and, and again, it has been uh, uh, over 60 years since the last one. Um, but, uh, you know, the moon's distance to the, the, the Earth is uh, on the order of about 230 million miles, and so we're, we're, we're not talking about uh, dramatic shifts in, in distance, but we're talking about subtle differences that, uh, that are noticeable if, if you're used to looking at the moon. who might want to go look at the moon with a telescope and kind of see more features on the moon, uh, is there a certain time that would be best to look? Sure. So actually looking at, at the full moon through a telescope is probably not the optimal time to be looking for, for surface features. Um, I would never tell anyone not to look at the moon. So if, you, if you've if you got your telescope, definitely take it out on Sunday night or 
Monday morning or Monday night to, to, to look at the moon. But certainly um, there are amazing features that you can see anytime uh, the moon is up. Ideally, when the moon is, is a crescent moon or, or not full, you'll actually get the effect of shadows on the moon that allow you to see the, the, the beautiful, beautiful and subtle topography of the lunar surface, uh, the beautiful impact craters uh, that are, are much more apparent when the sun is not uh, or the moon is not full. to be at its fullest at the same time that it is at its closest? Okay, so we have to wrap up here, but the moon, the full moon occurs about uh, about two hours, just under two hours after close approach. Closest approach is going to be about 6.30 in the morning on Monday, and the full moon actually occurs about 9 a.m. Eastern, uh, just before 9 a.m. Eastern, so uh, they close, occur very close to each other, but not as coincidentally, but Monday morning it'll be uh, full and closest approach. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on.